Welcome back to Deaton Street. I'm Zach. He's Dustin. Do you have $16,000, a bunch of nuts that need to be cracked, and some wires that need to be soldered? We have the robot just for you. But before we get into that, please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, it helps us out a lot. We are pushing towards 500 subs. Maybe we're there. This is the Friday video. Uh, maybe we're not. If we're not, help us out. If we are, yeah. also help us out. All right, Dustin, I sent this over to you. This is going to kind of be a free flow and just reacting to this video thing. Yeah. Uh, there's a $16,000 um, humanoid ro AI robot out there made by Unitree. Um, mm -hmm. Let us know a little bit more about it. So it looks like this robot is really just a, like an AI avatar. Uh, it's supposed to be like a companion robot or like a friend robot thing or something. It looks like it's like kind of like the uh, Boston Dynamics, the the all electric, uh, like free movement mm -hmm. range, like weird, creepy robot movement. It could kind of do basic functions with this little hand and stuff. I, there's not really a lot going on with it in my opinion i don't know it's a sixteen thousand dollar robot for what for for to crack nuts and to solder wires apparently well, according to these videos i can tell you what uh, you, you can punch it <laughs> it won't fall over <laughs> you you can uh you can, you can make it, it in the back you can make it contort in weird ways and sit on a bench yeah. and then pick it up afterwards like it's a little robot uh backpack and <laughs> it's c3po that is the only reason why I would use it is to carry around C3PO on my back like Chewbacca. That's and it, it. it's kind of it's got two hours of battery life, so you, you got out of the twenty four hours in the day, you can spend two hours of the day um, messing with this uh, sixteen thousand dollar humanoid robot. I think it's like four four feet tall too. So even if you're yeah, you're a, a shorter, shorter fellow, you could, or, or you could punch a child. Lady. That's no. that's what this is. You could punch a child. That's well, the start, the height. That, that a won't fall over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, won't fall <laughs> a free, over. A free teen. A pre teen. It's got a 3D lidar plus depth camera built into its little face there, so it can yeah. it can see things. Um, look, man, I think this is one of those toys for folks that want to play around with AI and and program their own robot it does seem to have tools that you could use to experiment with i'll say that i don't see any applications that are for normal everyday people yeah. uh, but what, what what do we think here are we are we kind of making tech just to make tech at this point what what's that's going on in the is, world man that's all it is this is for the uber rich people who don't know what to do with their money and they, there's a cool robot that's out that it, it, it can it can do things that what what are we making <laughs> these things for if they would have if so the thing is if they would have had like a an example video of like a search and rescue thing kind of how right yeah Boston dynamics is known for absolutely search and rescue stuff cool i get it you're using robots instead of humans to, to not endanger them you know great don't show me a robot cracking walnuts <laughs> i think every time that we talk about this robot cracking <laughs> walnuts you should have to show the video again <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> it's just <laughs> walnuts man like come on i i wonder what I need to look this up. I'm sorry. I this is a Friday video. Who cares? <laughs> Friday. Amazon. I, I'm. Let's see how much I can buy a walnut, walnut crack, walnut cracker, cracking tool, a machine. I can get a machine. A machine. Right. I can get an electric nut cracker machine, portable. Sixty bucks. But is it as portable as a <laughs> folded up Unitech AI robot, though? Probably not, man. So I mean, come on. <laughs> I think we're kind of making fun of this. And we, we've talked about robotics before mm -hmm. in the aspect, like you said, of like search and rescue operations. How can we improve humans' lives type of deal? Yeah. How can we get humans out of harm's way? I do think there's a really good use case for robotics. A great application. In yeah. that field. When I see stuff like this, though, I just I just wonder if folks are just making stuff to make stuff. Right, like, it's got to be. It's it's they're they're flexing, they're flexing on the other robotic companies I mean, that like we're 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 
in the territory of what, the old show BattleBots. <laughs> you know, but like this, I don't uh, think this thing, thing would you know, win, we're though. gonna have. We're gonna have. Yeah, no, the, the Boston Dynamics is gonna freaking smash this one. <laughs> Uh, like where, what's, uh, oh, not, there's another movie, uh, Chappie or something. And it's like a ro like humanoid robot fighting ring fight club, essentially. Yeah. Or Alita, Alita battle angel. Like there's a ton of movies about this. Uh, it's just, it's, it's, it's making robots for the sake of making robots. And that's cool. It we should just be more application. We, we talked uh, a few weeks ago, months ago, about the Amazon Astro robot that can bring <laughs> you a soda from the other room. I yeah. think this one could actually get it out of the refrigerator, though. So if you have sixteen thousand dollars, I would be for- afraid. <laughs> 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 of it grabbing the fridge door. Just, oh, I just thought this is ripping it off, dude. God, I got your soda, sir. <laughs> oh, that would be so bad. Anyway. So it, when you said it was flexible too, it, it, it's like it, I, it flexing on other robotics company. Underneath the video, I have a Riverside up looking at you, but yeah. underneath it, I have the website and he's just like, <laughs> Over and over again, like doing the, the, he's doing like the weird flexing thing. So I was like, oh. oh god, he's flipping his arms around for no reason and folding them behind the couch. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I, I could do that too. Yeah, like, um, Goodbye, hope behind. So so look, we we obviously were making fun of this. I think it's pretty yeah. dumb. Uh, I'm not spending sixteen thousand dollars on this type of stuff, especially because it's sixteen thousand dollars. This is a seven minute video so far, so let's spend just a little bit of time, you and I, brainstorming what we would use robots for like if we could actually make a real robot humanoid robot what would we what are like the good use case scenarios like what are the things that i you know you don't want to do that a robot could do for you i have some ideas by the way okay first one open in a pickle jar that you can't get open okay you know that thing's stuck on there okay maybe it's got an attachment it'll go foop, and it's like a rubber thing and it just goes and Pops that open for you. Beautiful. Buddy, I'm going to push back because I think that the times, like some of the greatest moments in life are when you finally pop open a jar yeah. that has been giving you trouble. You know? Very true. If you Very get true. get like a two, three minutes of like really struggling with the jar, especially, oh my gosh, especially if someone else tried before you. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's, it's just the best feeling. the old, you loosened it for me. That's what it is. Oh, I never say that. I just say that I'm incredibly strong, especially for my flabby and weak <laughs> body. Uh, so, <laughs> very true. All right. So, uh, open a pickle jar. I, I, you know, what about yeah. like what about like mowing the the lawn? Although I guess oh. they do have like AI robots now, but you know. Oh, that would be amazing! Right? I hate mowing the lawn. Yeah, I hate weed eating. Weed I hate eating yard yeah. work. Uh huh. If I could send. Uh, Jethro, my robot out there to cut the yard. Like I, I, I will pay somebody to cut my yard. If I could put a robot out there cutting the yard, absolutely. How about cleaning and dishes? Right. So basically, I, now we're, we're having talking. a robot butler. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that's the, yeah. Show absolutely. me that. You know, I mean, I know we, we did that. see like an AI that like was able to pick up a dish and put it in it. But I mean, I'm talking like, yeah. I want you to like go clean the shower. I, I want you to <laughs> to tidy up a bedroom, right? Yeah. If I'm paying $16,000, I want you to listen to my, my music mix be. and tell me, you know, it, it, yeah. is the bass too loud? You know, like. Good Lord. My house better be sp- Botless. Yeah, yeah. Like I better be able to eat off the floor if I pay sixteen thousand dollars. Trying to think what else. Um, you know, if if you're working on a car, it would be nice if it could go and like put it on a on a you know a jack for you and it, either that or hey, I need this uh fifteen mil socket oh, out of the thing. Yeah, go grab it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. My gopher. That's it's a gopher robot, man. Go for this. Go for that. Uh, <laughs> that's a Louisiana term if I've ever heard. You ain't never heard of gopher. No, okay, dude. anyway, we that's a gopher robot. We don't robot, say man. that in Texas, dude. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what else? What else? Uh, um, uh, I, you know, uh, TV remotes. There, are, I spend way too much time of my life trying to figure out where TV remotes are. Mm-hmm. You know, be like, hey, 
go rearrange that. Go find all my TV remotes and put them back to where they were supposed to be. Like that type of thing. Uh, I was going to say do my taxes, but that kind of puts people out of business, like CPAs and stuff. So yeah. maybe not. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I don't know. Like, or you get it to the territory if you outside of being a butler or a maid you get mm-hmm. into the territory mm-hmm. of the taking people's jobs kind of thing because like oh you want to file my taxes well you can probably pay somebody to do that well, that'll uh, be like an ai app in yeah, that's two AI or three stuff. years yeah. anyways you know um try to think oh this will this will be perfect set up my podcast stuff set up my <laughs> youtube stuff for me yeah put my camera on the tripod yeah. please yeah. It's in the book sack right there. Yeah. Turn it on. Until Make the sure first time it that it picks it up and it goes, oops, I crushed. <laughs> yeah. It rips off my fridge door or the camera. Yeah. It can't. No. It, it doesn't like unscrew the lens. It just. <laughs> <laughs> it just rips it off. Yeah. Oh, I will be fighting an immovable robot at that point because I could not knock it over. Yeah, you, can't, you can't knock it over. Can't knock it Especially, over. Especially, I loved how he had that huge, like, boxing glove Big on old too. boxing like, glove. Looked like the, the Hulk boxing gloves we had when we were young. You why? Know, the, and then, okay, this is kind of criticizing their stuff, but why the scrawny dude? Throwing punches <laughs> at a metal robot. Come on, man. Oh, no. Put a jacked weightlifter up there and try to punch this sucker. Show me, like, you know, McGregor or somebody, you know, yeah. after after a few brewskis. Show me McGregor. Try, but I get he could. Okay. That's a good point. Yeah. That, that dude. I mean, we're also scrawny, so I'm not saying. Well, I'm you know, very yeah, scrawny. Yeah, I would yeah, not yeah, try yeah, to knock yeah. over. Don't put me in the video at all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we poked fun. I, I don't know yeah. what this is for. I don't know why you would get this but let's let's move this comment section in another direction if if you don't mind what do you want a a robot for don't be weird don't be weird i'll block you i'll mute you if you're weird you know what i'm talking about we'll turn you off so bad yeah but (laughs) uh anything else you can let us know what you would use a robot for okay yeah (laughs) i got it peace see ya (laughs)